All right, our first guest is mixing his love for classic cars with classic American with the classic American street food, and they're gonna take your taste buds for a ride of their life with these flavors, calling it Chicano comfort food. Chef Pablo Rios with Barrio Dog yes. is here to show us some of his creations, Absolutely. which pay tribute to you know lowrider culture. So yes. give us the down low, Chef Pablo. So we're a hot dog restaurant mm -hmm. that celebrates the art, history, and culture of lowriding. Um, we use the vehicle to tell a story. We use the vehicle to give you an experience. Everything is made in house. We start our days by making our bread. Our salsas and cremas are made in house. Mm -hmm. And then they're topped from anything like the traditional Chicago style all the way to a loaded Tijuana dog. And this is very represented from like where you grew up and where you visited, right? Absolutely. So uh, I grew up in San Diego, mm -hmm. a border town to Tijuana. Growing up, we would cross the border. Our parents would go eat street tacos, but the kid would run to the bacon wrapped dog cart. So the inspiration for Barrio Dog is telling the story of our life. And we get to help you today because you're going to put us to work to create yes. some of the customer favorites, right? Absolutely. So Absolutely. which ones are we going to work on? So we're going to work on the Cholito and we're going to work on the Capone. If you want, we can start with the Cholito. Is that sure. the easy yeah. one? Yeah. <laughs> Come on over. Okay. All right. Grab oh, that. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, look. So you I take a lot of pride, right? right? right. Okay. Absolutely. Every ingredient is thought out. Every process is thought out. We start off with our bun. This mm -hmm. one has bacon wrapped. It's got mustard, ketchup, grilled onions, and then we're going to start to build, okay? Okay. So we're going to do some cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. um, house made pico de gallo. Goodness. Mouth right? is watery. Little pico de gallo. Mm -hmm. Sour cream. Little crema. Now, how often would your family go to Tijuana? Oh, so at least twice a month, maybe three times a month, because we have family in Tijuana. So we, it's, it's, it's something that you, you cross back and forth, whether you're going to the dentist, the doctor, or to go eat, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> we're going to finish it off with some crunchy garlic. Oh, yeah. that crunchy garlic. Yeah, that fresh cilantro. So this has a little bit of salsa verde, sriracha aioli, um, crema, and we like to do fresh cilantro to cut through that richness. That. So you're all set That's on beautiful. that one. I'm going to switch you off, okay. right? I'm going to switch oh, you off okay. on that one. And then we're going to build here what we call a traditional Chicago style, right? So mm -hmm. you can't really mess with this one too much because people get upset, right? Like you talked <laughs> about putting ketchup on a hot dog. Yeah, we've this got is, some Chicago hot dogs. This is the one where if you pulled out a ketchup out there, bottle yeah. right now, I would probably be getting murdered. Right? <laughs> I'm so, sorry. So, so we're going to start off with a little bit of deli mustard. We're going to go deli mustard. We have fresh sliced Roma tomato for this one. Mm. Fresh sliced Roma mm. tomato. Um, we're gonna go in with our house-made dill relish that we do. So we make a, a dill relish. I call it atomic I was relish. Say that looks a little different. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. bright and green, um, and it's it's uh, what they use in Chicago. So we like to make that here. We got a pickle spear, a pickle spear. It's like we a got work of art there. A little yes. bit of onion. <laughs> A little bit of red onion. And these are just a couple of examples of what's on the menu, right? We, we've created 21 different hot dogs. So we're a seasonal hot dog restaurant. So basically, as the season changes, so will the menu. Uh, we always have the classics on hand, but you'll have things like uh, El Vaquero, which is a chili cheese dog. Okay. You'll have things like El Chicano, which is a California burrito style. Mm, okay. You'll have one called El Pueblito, which is like having a chile relleno inside of a hot dog. Oh and the hot dogs themselves are made out of Wagyu? 100% Angus beef, Angus? prime, okay. no antibiotics, fillers, or nitrates. Beautiful. It's from a family-owned farm called Brant Farm, and they've been around since 1945. So you know exactly what's in your hot dog when you come to Barrio Dog. And you also were mentioning earlier to me about the lowrider. So you, yes. that's another hobby So yours. Barrio Dog is a tribute to lowriding. Mm -hmm. And when you come in, it's an art gallery. It's an experience. I've been building cars since 1992. I started coming to San Antonio in 98 for car shows. And that's what we're showing. We're showing the car life. We're showing the culture. We're showing the food. And real quickly before we go, a yes. deal for folks watching right now. Well, we want to meet as many of you. We want you to come in. We're having a deal for the rest of July. You just mentioned SA Live and you get 10% off. Okay, and you're located there on Presa Street? Yeah, near 620 South Presa. Between South Alamo and? We're South Alamo and Pereira. And Pereira. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Absolutely. Beautiful works of art there. All right, don't forget, for the rest of the month of July, SA Live viewers get 10% off when you mention you saw them on the show. For that information and more, just snap that QR code on your screen or head to our website.